Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's Nightcap, I get some more work done on the World Rotator. It's really starting to get involved now, but I'm quite enjoying doing it. I'm going to do the draw for the internal vernier that was redonated from a fortnight ago. That's got to be done. The wife said we had holiday, so I've had basically a weekend to myself. Uh, today I went to Tanfield Railway. I was like an open day on and I had a couple of locos running on the track. I get a little bit of footage of that. I'll put some of that in uh, towards the end of the video. I also go to a car boot sale and I buy a really interesting item. And I also buy an item for this week's giveaway. Once again, there's only me here. So I'll have to do the draw for the, the vernier. Look in here. Delving to the bottom somewhere. There's quite a few names coming in this week as well. It's... So proud now where this is actually taken off. Right, the name I've got here is Kenna Engineering. So Kenna Engineering is probably an engineering company. I'll bring it in so you can have a look. There you go. So all you've got to do is send me an email with your address. And I'll get that in the post straight away. I'm going to do another draw. This time it's going to be for a pair of parallels. I actually bought them at a car boot sale today. The They're in decent condition, nicely ground, no rust, no nasty marks on them. I've actually got a name on. The name's FG. Sure it's got FG on, so it's obviously the, the guy that ruined them. So if you want to go at winning the two parallels, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. Email with your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Uh, your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post them off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. As I keep saying, it's just a little way of me saying thank you for all the help and support I've had over the years. I had a visit last week, a lad came up from Gloucester to see us. He's actually the lad that developed the plasma table uh, that our tech have got on loan to us that I'm actually demonstrating, or trying to demonstrate. Anyway, he came up, we spent a full day. Uh, he went through a lot of settings, showed us how to tweak things up to make it cut a lot better. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. There's a lot to learn. I do a little bit of plasma cutting today just to put into practice one or two bits and pieces that he actually showed us. I need to drill the three mountain holes on the back plate so I can get it attached to the chuck. I've decided to go over the mill and we'll mark it off. And we'll have it in the day of the last time we did a PCD, pitch circle diameter, and then we'll bisect it into three parts. All I'm going to do is use a wiggler to pick up each each point and turn and then drill through them and then I'll probably use a transfer punch to mark the chuck. 
one thing I will do is just put a piece of scrap under there a little bit thinner than that just so when the drill breaks through there's no chance of it going into the table of the machine some people call them witness marks I just think it's where some clumsy bastard just rubs straight through with a drill it doesn't really care about what they're doing you generally find the person that does the damage to the bed is certainly not the person that bought the machine Just tweak the axis and turn until you get it. Yeah, so it's right on the on the cross. As I said earlier, I could have put this into a chuck on a rotating table and divided it that way. Cast iron, so we'll drill it dry. Right, you see what I mean? If you break through, it's just going to hit that, it's not going to do any damage. This chuck's obviously had a, an extremely hard life before I got it, uh, which is why I'm going to use it as a chuck to weld on. The mountain holes are in a bit of a mess, there's some, it'll be wet with. That one's actually stripped, so I'm just going to drill three new holes and just split the difference between them. One thing I will do is I'll put a reference mark. I'll do it there. There's already a mark there. Just a reference mark so it goes on one way. The 8mm transfer punch. It's a really good fit in the hole. Right. So then they'll be drilled and tapped. 8 mil. I've used the same method for lining up each hole. Okay, so we've got three nice clean pop marks. I measure the depth of those and make sure I don't go down any deeper but I really have got plenty of material to play with that's a good three quarters of an inch there that's certainly 19 mil touch it off and I'm just going to use the the depth gauge on the quill Caught the inch of thread, that's going to be more than enough.
horrible stuff is the cast iron dust. This is without doubt one of the best conversions I did to the milling machine. Well, it would appear to be somewhere near. I might have to shorten these bolts here. Yeah, well, yeah, some shorter bolts in there, but that's one little bit more done. These top head bolts are extremely tough. This is the easiest way to shorten them. This is the other item I bought at the car boot sale. I only give five pound for it. I couldn't, I just couldn't not buy it for five pound. It's a video light, like a studio video light. There's different colour filters dropping into the front. It's got a really big lamp unit in it. It's actually still in test according to the plug. I've had it plugged in and it, it actually works, so I'll plug it in again. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might be able to set it up and improve my video lighting somehow. I'm not quite sure. Right, we we'll plug it in. We will be holding that light. Quite a lot of light. Obviously, it's white when you take the. Take that out. See, it is, it is quite bright. So I'll possibly be able to use this. It's a nice diffuse light. Anyway, like I say, for five pound, I couldn't really go go far wrong. That's the the light unit. It's actually a sealed beam unit. 30 volt, 300 watt. That will use a little bit of electricity, I would imagine. Anyway, I want something to, something to flare with. 